Welcome to Fur Fronts Falcon. We're here today to review the Fur Fronts HVLAR high volume light assault rifle. Uh, this weapon is designed and sensed around the SOAR system, the uh, Special Operations Assault Rifle. It is a gas piston, mid length driven system. Total uh, overall barrel length is 16 inches with that mid length piston setup. Uh, as our traditional fur front systems are designed, we have our cyclic rate reducer in here that slows down the cyclic rate. That way we improve on our efficiency of the weapon system, our cycle rate, and less wear and tear on the gun. We're able to maintain and sustain heavy volumes of fire that range towards our immediate threats. Let's take a little closer look at the HVLAR the way that we have it set up here today. Uh, as I mentioned already, we have a 14 half inch mid-length gas system barrel. This barrel is a heavy machine gun barrel. We have uh, Fur Fronts' proprietary muzzle brake device, which helps mitigate and reduce the amount of muzzle rise and flip from full auto fire. The rail system that we're utilizing today is a ARMS SIR over the top rail system. It's a great rail, by the way. We have a uh, Laser Devices D ball, PEC 15 equivalent, green laser, and IR. We have a trusty carry handle here which is similar to that, uh, if you will, of a saw or what have you, of a squad automatic weapon so that you're able to pick up the weapon and run with it and then get into position when and where you need to. Uh, the scope that we have on this today is a one in four power. And we have our backup sights, although getting to the backup sights on this would be a little bit difficult. We'd have to take a bunch of stuff off, obviously, to get to it. And last but not least is our solid one piece buttstock. Contact foot! All right, so that was a 150 round mag dump with a quick mag change to a 30 round mag backup. Now that we uh, just fired all 150 rounds of continuous full out of fire, let's take a look at it a little closer and see how hot this bolt carrier group is because I'm willing to bet if it was direct impingement, probably wouldn't be able to do this too much. And by the way, just a quick little added note, this so far is the best magazine that we have shot. Uh, 150 rounds, we haven't had any malfunctions unless of course you don't count your number of rounds and you overload it and, and compress the springs too much. But aside from that, every time we have fired this 150 round mag, this drum, it has worked flawless. So, might be able to see a little bit of steam coming off of that barrel out of that muzzle there. So let's see, uh, send the bolt carrier home, pop the top and see what we got. Huh, gee, not all that warm. Wow, oh, bare skin. I'd say that the bolt feels maybe about 70, 75 degrees, maybe at the most. But very clean, still pretty clean, uh, other than maybe a little bit of brass shavings on it. Uh, bolt is still cool. And uh, take a quick look inside, see what we got. Not much in the way of uh, any debris or dirt, other than just a few uh, brass shavings. So. For the most part, I'd say that this was a uh, successful test of the uh, Fur Fronts HV LAR system. Hell of a gun, very smooth to fire. And uh, I'll say this, being behind the gun and firing on full auto and walking it out towards uh, your immediate threat was very easy to stay on target. Uh, I wanted to spread it out a little bit and shift and move and what have you. And uh, the gun stayed on target. The very, no muzzle rise, surprising, very surprising. I mean, absolutely no muzzle rise whatsoever with this weapon system. Excellent design, good job for fronts, doing it again. Stay tuned for more.